clean up her own shit. Where the hell could she be? Well, that's a good question. Rolls the phone with his shoulder and grabs a shovel. He furiously begins dumping dirt into the hole. Belle begins to look worried. She helps her out. You haven't seen her then? What did you do? What? <laughs> Have you talked to her since last night? Oh, no. Dig. We're both done. God damn it, Lo. Maybe she was embarrassed. No way, I don't think she would just ditch like that. Not even bother wiping it up. I don't know, man. I've never had to face such a dilemma. This is weird. Are you... I'll let you go. I'm gonna call her. Bro hangs up the phone. Faster. They manage to fill the hole. They sit in exhaustion. Bro lays on his back. Phone starts to ring. Bro goes for his phone, but it is not ringing. Bell goes for hers, but it's also not ringing. They look at the grave. <gasps> You didn't turn her phone off. I thought it was. Or I didn't think about it. Is this your mom? <sighs> Excuse me. Is this your fucking mom? What? I didn't mean to. We need to fucking dig it back out! Okay. Love grabs the shovel, Ro looks over the house and sees Scott through the glass door that exits the backyard. No time, he's gonna come out here. Now what, what asshole? asshole? What? <laughs> He looks around the backyard desperate for an idea. He notices a hose. Okay, he runs over and turns it on. Water says, he runs over the mound and he begins to soak the ground. What are you doing? You're going to turn into a swamp and she'll poop out? Look, I just need enough water to kill the phone. Phone's not ringing. I think you got it. No, her voicemail picks up. Ro hands the hose over the belt. Here, I'll go see where Scout is. Ro turns around to see Scout 50 yards away walking towards him. Hey! I can't get a hold of her, it goes to voicemail. He approaches Belle, who's sousing the ground with water from the hose. He's the phone up to his ear. Belle and Ro look. So what are you doing? We just planted tomatoes. You're overwatering them. Give me the phone. Ro hands him the phone. Yeah, maybe she'll answer for you. Scott dials Debbie. Ro and Belle look at each other. They look at the ground, but nothing happens. Scott hangs up the phone and hands it back to Ro. She turned it off. Interior, Rose Estate, foyer, later. Pilar swings open the front door as she drags her cleaning carton backwards, not noticing the mess. She closes the door and turns around to see the stream of piss and shit. She pulls off her headphones. Dios mio, Mr. Scout, you hear? I'm hoping that you pay extra. Pilar pulls out a bottle of cleaning formula and sprays the stairs a bit. Aubrey walks out of Rose's room to the top of the stairs. She waves Pilar. <laughs> see? It's no bueno. No quiero es sucio. I didn't do this. What the hell happened? Tu eres sucio. Have you seen Ro? Mr. Ro is not here, but this stink is. Aubrey takes out her cell and calls Ro. Stereo, self car wash. Continue it. Ro pulls out his phone to see Aubrey is calling. He ignores it, puts the phone back in his pocket. Ro is power washing the trunk. Brownish pink liquid floods from the trunk as the blood washes away. Ro picks up a piece of stray flesh and flicks it away. He pulls out his phone again and dials Scout.